Filmevest is always looking for ways to make this region more attractive to shoot your film in. So we're always looking at different film-specific infrastructure parts. What are we lacking here? We're here unveiling the greatest front projection screen in the world. It's 24 by 8, 200 square meters. Projectors are inherent in picture quality. We use projectors for cinema and the quality we have at the cinema is the quality we aspire as filmmakers to achieve. So for me, it's natural that we use nothing less for our backgrounds in our virtual production shoots than cinema backgrounds. So here at Studio Fares, we are using projectors, which is a really good thing when we are talking about real-time tracking. When the projector gets the signal, it displays it directly. So we are tracking the movement of the cameras here. So when you're moving the camera, the background also moves. That gives a depth in the image, so you really feel like it's there. It's like you're on set. So the advantages of working with virtual productions, digital backdrops, uh, is that we have a, a live scene that casts lights and refracts against actors and objects uh, in the scene. And there's no need to add that into post when you're working, for example, with blue screen and green screen. So you have a live VFX shot, which is easily uh, adapted into the grading. There are several advantages of using a projector-based setup compared to a LED setup. A LED setup is a given size. You can only fit a certain size stage inside it. When you use a projector-based wall, especially one as large as we have here, not 24 meters wide, you can fit like two stages or two setups. Uh, you can fit like a, a boat on one side, you can fit an apartment on one side and something else in the middle. Or you can do like, you can walk across a bridge, you can pan across a large bridge. You could never ever do that on a LED stage. So virtual production has endless possibilities, really. And right here in Trollhättan, you can have an actor driving to the airport, go to New York in an airplane, and we can shoot that in one day. Why I really think virtual production is so important right now is I think really how it could democratize filmmaking in many ways. How stories that maybe couldn't be told because of budgeting issues or location issues can actually be told right here in Trollhättan. I don't think we yet know what we can do. We don't know where the limits are for this. We know for sure that they will be more sustainable. We don't have to travel all around the world. And for script writers, they don't need to limit themselves in the same way. You can make films in space in Sweden. Anything is possible.